Hello, I'm Millie Askew, a market analyst here at the AHDB. In this video, I'll look at what has been moving the markets over the past month or so, as well as what you need to keep an eye on going forward. Let's start with the main talking point and market driver for the UK over the past week, and that's been currency. Last Friday, we saw the sterling plummet against a basket of foreign currencies, including the euro and dollar. In turn, this pulled UK feed wheat futures prices up, which bucked the downward trend recorded in both US and other European markets. This has continued to fluctuate over the past few days. Looking forward, currency is actually going to remain volatile for at least the short to mid-term and will be a key influencing factor for UK price movements for both grains and oilseeds. Therefore, the importance of keeping an eye on currency movements and how the markets are reacting is essential. Looking at what's been going on in other news, maize has been a major factor to the way all grain markets have been moving over the past month. Firstly, concerns over the size of Brazil's second maize crop, driven by drier and hotter than usual weather, added a more bullish sentiment to global grain markets. Combine this with weather concerns in the US, this has added upward movement to prices. However, these concerns were dampened by the latest USDA crop progress report, which showed no change in crop conditions from the previous two weeks. Likewise, the markets were once again reminded of the importance of US crops last night as the USDA released its largest acreage and quarterly grain stocks reports. Well, how does this affect the UK? Well, looking forward, the maize situation is going to be a key watching point for, from a feed ingredient perspective. It's no secret that, glo that the global outlook for wheat remains heavy due to record stocks and, bum and forecasts of another bumpy year of production. Globally, with higher priced maize and ample supplies of wheat, it could mean that wheat buys back some demand off maize. Looking now closer to home and what impact the wet weather across Europe has had on crops, in particular barley. The worst hit by the wetter than usual conditions across the continent last month was France and Germany. Combined, these two countries typically account for about 45% of EU malting barley production. The main concerns are surrounding the French crop, where recent crop tours and condition results have confirmed some of these fears, with harvest providing more confirmation when it begins. If the quality of barley harvested intended for malting does not meet requirements, we could see higher proportions of feed, feed barley coming onto the market. In turn, this could potentially increase the competition for UK barley exports. So, over the coming week and even months, it is vital that you keep an eye on the markets. You can keep up to date and read more about the topics discussed today at serials.ahdb.org.uk forward slash markets. Thank you for watching.